Hi and welcome to another edition of Traction Control. The weather is nice, it's sunny, it's breezy. I've got my orange juice and I'm ready to showcase another car in this series. Today's episode is going to be a quite different one because we're not going to be having a sports car. Instead, we're going to be having something that's family oriented, five seater, SUV, crossover, whatever you call it. And let's see what it is. Time now to test drive the F-Pace S. First impression of the car, the layout of the interior is done greatly. We've got two big screens. One is the instrumental and the center console, big 8.0 inch, which is absolutely great. And if you accelerate, you can hear a little bit of the Jaguar unique sound. Yep. And let's go. So we're cruising along in the F-Pace S Jaguar. Is this Jaguar or Jaguar? Because the English and the Americans have different way of pronouncing the Jag's name either a Jaguar or a Jaguar. Anyway, uh, driving this car in this beautiful sunny day, got the panoramic roof open, a lot of space, a lot of nice ambience inside. It's warm, sunny today. So we've got the aircon on and we're cruising around in the roads of Bahrain. Like everybody knows, F-Pace is the first ever SUV or a crossover Jaguar produced in uh, 2015. This car was first showcased at the Detroit Motor Show in 2015. But the car we're driving right now is the 2017 model, which has the 3.0 V6 supercharged engine, which gives me about 380 horsepower to play with. Driving it in cities, it's great. It's comfy, it's quiet, quality built like all Jaguar cars. And uh, when Jaguar decided to build this car, it was an attempt to get along with the other big manufacturers who kept on bringing new SUV models. You've got the BMW X3, the Mercedes GLE, the Porsche Macan, and the list goes on on and on, like the uh, Lexus RX. Talking about the interior of the car, the car is done beautifully. Leather trims everywhere because this car is the first edition. First edition is an option in Jaguar. You can get the car in the normal trim or the first edition. First edition comes with the 22 rim outside, which is blacked out. This is the black edition of the first one. All the trims are blacked out, no chrome bits at all, even the rims are black. And you can see the nice details that Jaguar has put in just to make this car luxurious. And at the same time, small and compact for everybody to use. Well, if you're deciding to buy an SUV or a crossover, there are many things that people have a checklist for. Is it comfy enough? Jaguar, yes, you can see it five individuals comfortably here. Seats are done beautifully. The leather interior, the seats, the comfiness, typical Jaguar style. 
Jaguar didn't go for the bigger engines like their cousins in Range Rover. Instead, you've got the four cylinder and the six cylinder. And the reason for that is nowadays everybody's looking about fuel consumption. The less fuel you spend, the more attractive the car will be. But Jaguar added the luxurious touch. You've got a nice screen in the middle. You've got a great instrument panel in the front. Nice panoramic roof. You've got the suede ceiling, which is a touch of class. You don't see much cars with suede in the interior to design the whole cockpit. Other than that, handling of the car is great, responsive, but there's a different side for the F-Pace S. If you'd like to go a bit aggressive, a bit sporty, take all the power, suspension, the gear change in the car, all you need to do is to press one button down here to go from normal to dynamic. And when the gauges go red, that means you're in sports mood. Even the instrument dials swap places. So you've got the RPM in front of you and the speed on the right. But if you're in the normal mood, go switch back. You can see the speed in front of you and the RPM on the right. But now we're going to try doing dynamic mode. This car has 380 horsepower and a nice gearbox, which is eight speed, which gives you an easy transition from one gear and another. It's not a dual clutch because it's not a sports car. And the sound of the car, the exhaust are a bit muffled. It's not like the F type, but once you go onto the dynamic mode, you can really hear the sound, the DNA of Jaguar in this car. Dynamic mood right on and instantly you can feel the engine having more power. Transmission changes happen very fast and the steering is a bit stiffer for that controlling of the turns using the dynamic mood. This car is like a small super hatch, like the Golf GTI. You can have that feeling in it, but you need to be careful. When driving, you're driving an SUV. It's not a small car. Gonna do some tight turns in this car. And you can see the car just responds beautifully. Up on some humps. Suspension is great on this car. Typical SUV style, crossovers, acceleration, deceleration. Just go left and right, left and right. It's like we're doing a miniature rally in the F Pace S. Turns are great. Feeling of the car, I like how the, the car responds, turns, brakes, everything is done accurately, the British way. That's why a lot of people like owning a Jaguar or a Jag, because everything is done perfectly. And on to the highway. So dynamic mood, we're gonna go back to normal. Gauges go from red to blue. And then there is another option in the Jag. Eco mode. Eco is something that everybody is looking for right now. With increased prices of fuel everywhere. Fuel economy is a big must in buying a new car. And this Jag has an option that gives you how to do it correctly. On the screen in front of me right now, I've got three indicators, braking, speed, and acceleration. And it's all shown in green bars. If I'm doing things correctly, I'm saving fuel, I'm preserving more mileage for the car, with the fuel of course. If not, the gauges will go red, telling me that your car is spending more fuel. Jaguar says this car can do zero to 100 in 5.5 seconds. 
Let's find out. Dynamic mood, sport, let's go. And 100. Yep, it's fast. So after we drove the Jaguar F-Pace S, we come now to see the details on the outside. The car is beautifully designed. It has the Jaguar logo in front to show you it's a Jag. And the look of the car is intimidating. The big grille for the air to go in. You've got the nice light, the Jaguar LED technology in the front that gives you the similar look of previous Jaguar models. And of course, you've got the beautiful first edition design of the car, which includes even the tinted or the blacked out rims, trims on the car, because Chrome basically is so 2015. This car comes with a 22 inch ring and it looks absolutely sporty, aggressive and nice for an SUV. This car comes with a 3.0 V6 supercharger engine and of course the F-Pace comes with two engines. You can either go for the 2.0 four-cylinder engine or this one, the one I was driving a couple of days ago and today, uh, the 3.0. It has about 380 horsepower, 0 to 100 in about 5.8, 5.5 seconds. And talking about fuel economy or efficiency about this car, the car, we cannot judge it by saying it's bad or good. It's in the middle. It takes a lot of fuel thanks to its supercharged engine. But when the power is needed to the car, the car delivers. It has a nice pickup for speed. The supercharged works perfectly. And for me, as a guy, if I'd like to buy a car, the F-Pace, I'd definitely go for the 3.0 supercharged engine instead of the 2.0 four-cylinder to give me more power and more response when needed. So this car comes with the automatic reverse feature that's standard on most modern cars right now. I've never tried it before, so let's test it out on the Jaguar F-Pace S. Choose the park assist option, set, searching, and then we go. We're driving forward right now, looking for the space. That says stop. It's in reverse, we just wait and see. In between two cars. Continue to reverse with care. It's beeping. It says stop, go to D, and then forward carefully a yep perfectly and then select R it's moving I'm not using any hands and we're done so my experience doing the parking assist it's great, especially for some people out there who have difficulties in parking. So here's another feature that the Jaguar F-Pace S has, parking assist.
once you're inside the F-Pace S, you are welcomed with a lovely interior, leather all over the place. You've got a two screen system. You've got one in the middle for your dials and warning signs. You've got a nice one in the middle, touch screen of course, 8.0. And you've got all your data on it and information options you like. Steering wheel is covered in a lovely leather. You've got the Leaping Jaguar on the horn. And of course, you've got the S badge, just to remind you that you're driving the S model. You've got your gear pedals on the back of the wheel, up and down. And of course, you've got all the buttons you need to control the infotainment system. You've got the volume, you've got the moods, you've got the cruise control on the right. And you've got the options to change the menu on the screen itself. Let's go into display and you can play with it. You can add the temperature, the map. If you'd like to use the GPS instead of the middle screen, you can go over here. And voila, the whole instrument panel turns into the GPS map, which you can focus straight on and looking at the map. And of course, down you've got your time, the fuel, gear, speed, and temperature outside. Once you're done with the map, you'd like to go back, press menu, display setting again, and then we switch off the map, and then we get more options on the dial. Basically, this car is done in a very nice way. So all the panels are in front of you, nothing so far away from you. All the controls are in your hand, in your reach. Moving on to the center console. You've got many options. This is home, you can play with it. You've got your radio, your telephone connection, your GPS, same thing as well. All your details, map, tells you all the information that you want. Another option is the climate control. You can control your AC dials from the screen or from the buttons beneath. Simple layout. And this screen is a double touch screen. You can use this screen and on the side as well to scroll up and down. So it's a multiple touch screen option in the Jag. Going to more extra features, we've got the eco data that I was talking about while driving that gives you the scoring of the fuel efficiency. You got the history as well. You got the records, 98%, which is the best. It shows you how many braking and acceleration, speed, distance, Fuel consumpted gives you all. Back again, we have this feature, valet mood. This is one of the greatest features in the new cars. You just enter your passcode in the valet mood, hand in the key to the valet, and he takes it to the parking spot. But the car is limited to a certain speed. So the guy who's driving your car won't have access to all the features in the car. Not, not only that, even the speed is restricted. So the guy can't speed off or do some funny donuts in the car. Back again, we've got your voice, Bluetooth, ambient lights that controls the lights in the car. You've got many options. And this button, which controls the dynamic mood. Dynamic mood is the super mood, like I like to say it. Everything is revved up. You've got your engine in dynamic mood. The gear shifts, dynamic. Steering, it's a bit stiffened. Suspension, toughened a bit to give you that sporty Jaguar feel. And of course, you can do a manual or a custom setup of your desire. You can put the steering to normal. You have the loose steering while you're in dynamic mood or you can go for the factory setup, which puts everything on dynamic. This car is beautifully done. The screen is responsive, easy flicking left and right. Everything is, well, a Jaguar built. I've been driving the F-Pace S for the last couple of days. 
I enjoyed every single minute of it. It's an SUV, practical for family. It's a sporty car, it has a nice engine. The V6 supercharged Jaguar engine. It's luxurious. Leather everywhere, gadgets and techs. So my verdict is, I love this car. And if I had the choice to buy an SUV, I'd buy this one. So until next time, take care. See you next week on Traction Control.